morning. Welcome to the morning edition of SD BBC News, the official news channel for Ipswich. It's great to have you with us today, especially as there are now only... <laughs> Here are our Christmas news headlines today. Police have arrested a naughty snowman for throwing snowballs at passers-by. He said it was only a bit of fun, but police said it was snow joke and snow laughing matter. In the North Pole, a new roller coaster has today been launched by Rudolph, called the Red Nose Roller Coaster. The owners have said that to ride it, you have to hang on for dear life. In technological news, electronic game developers have today announced that they have launched a brand new games console, especially for Christmas. They've called it the Sony Slay Station. And finally, in the Amazon jungle, all the animals have finally voted together to choose their favourite Christmas carol, and the winning carol is, of course, Jungle Bells. Well, now it's time for today's weather report with our weather reporter, Carol Service. Carol, what's the weather going to be like today? It's still cold. Back to you. Thanks, Carol. Well, now we're going to get our on-location news report from our roving reporter, Candy Kane. Candy, uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here, and today I have travelled a little way on the number 15 bus to the hills of Judea. I'm going to be talking to a lady called Elizabeth, who's just had some very exciting news about a relative of hers. Now, I am going to do the interview with her shortly, but she just needed a few moments to do her hair and put some lippy on. We're going to find out more. I'm just going to knock on the door now. Hello! Hello! Oh, hello! Oh, hello. Zachariah, feed the dog, I'm going on the telly! Hello! Hello there, are you ready for your interview? Oh, I am, I'm ready, I've got my best outfit on, my lipstick on, I'm all ready. What is it you want to know, dear? Well, uh, I understand that you are a relative of Mary's. Oh, absolutely, we're ever so close. Oh, she's a lovely, lovely young lady, and we're all very, very proud of her. And uh, where is she now? Oh, well, dear, what a shame. You've just missed oh. her. She's been staying with me and my husband, Zachariah, for a little while. She needed to have a little bit of rest and relaxation. Oh, um, why did she need some rest? Well, dear, hadn't you heard? She's having a baby. Oh, wow. In fact, so am I. Yes, sir, we can see that. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. But, you know, our Mary, she's having a very, very very special baby. A special baby? In which way will he be special? Well, a little time ago, there was Mary at home and suddenly an angel appeared to her. <gasps> this angel had come from God to give Mary a very special message. Tell me more. <gasps> I should say, do you know, it was incredible. I think I would have wobbled in my wellies if an angel had appeared to me. But this angel said to her, don't be afraid. Goodness me, that must have been a real shock. And it was a very special message. And uh, what was that message? <gasps> well, the message was, the angel Gabriel that came to give the message said to her, you are going to have a very, very special baby sent from God. A baby boy who God is sending to be the forever king. A baby who would actually be God's son. Just imagine that, our baby giving birth to the son of God. Wow, it's amazing. So amazing. Then the angel told her what name she and Joseph needed to name the baby. He was to be called Jesus, which means God saves, God rescues. And uh, what kind of rescue was Jesus going to bring? Well, God was sending his son to rescue us, to save us from our sin. Sin is the wrong things in our lives, all the wrong things we do, that we think, that we say, and those things stop us having God as our friend. They break the friendship with God and they break our connection with God. So God was sending Jesus to put that right? Yes, you see, that's why it's so exciting. God loves us so much and he wants us to come to know him as our, his 
sorry, as our Father in heaven. I'm so excited, I can hardly get my words out. And you know, he wanted to create a way so that we could have our sin forgiven and all taken away so that we could be friends with him again. Goodness me, so God was sending Jesus into the world to make that right. That's right, Jesus was coming to give us a way back to God to connect us with God again, to build a kind of bridge between us and God again and be the light to guide us back to God. So this baby is coming. Goodness me, that is so exciting. And thank you so much for your time today, Elizabeth. I better let you go and have some lunch. That's nice. thank okay. You so I'm much. going back to Zachariah. Lovely to meet you. Bye-bye. You too. Zachariah, get the kettle on. I'm coming in. Goodness me, that is exciting news and it has explained so much to us and we've found out more details about the Christmas story. Anyway, Frank, back to you in the studio. I've been Candy Kane in Judea. Thanks, Candy. That's great. And if you're watching at home, you can actually read all about the time when Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel in the Bible in Luke chapter 1, where we read these words. One month later, God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth in Galilee with a message for a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the family of King David. The angel greeted Mary and said, You are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, Don't be afraid. God is pleased with you and you will have a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God Most High. The Lord God will make him king as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever and his kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, how can this happen? I'm not married. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come down to you and God's power will come over you. So your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth is also going to have a son, even though she is old. No one thought she could ever have a baby, but in three months she will have a son. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen as you have said. And the angel left her. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you will tune in again in two days' time for the next part of our Christmas countdown. And viewers, don't forget... If you have any pictures or jokes or quizzes to send in, it would be great to hear from you. We'll see you again soon.